Without making a video, I know, bro. Y'all been messaging me, bro. You're so inconsistent. You don't make YouTube videos like that anymore, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I just be so caught up in stuff. But I got to, I got to make this video out for y'all today, this week, man. And before I even say anything, hopefully this time I can say it that the quality of this video looks way better from my old camera. When I mean my old camera, I mean this camera right here, man. Nah. Before I get into the video, I wanted to give a big shout out to my bro for letting me buy this camera off him. His YouTube name is Trey Silver TV, bro. Like, like just so I remembered it, cause I, I remember I knew I forgot it before. But Trey Silver TV, bro. Like I did, I give shout outs to all the people who at request shout outs in the comments. If you got some dope um, content you want me to shout you out, I will truly do that. So if you ever want to shout out and you make content, cause I know how hard it is to. Put videos into a YouTube channel and get the subscribers you know what I'm saying it doesn't just come overnight so if you want to get a shout out and at least get one or two of my subs to follow you remember just comment down below make sure you subscribe to me though I can't just be giving free shout outs and make sure you subscribe to me and follow me on my socials and yeah I'll give you that shout out anytime you want man another update I want to give y'all still do have shark bait tees but we're kind of coming out with a whole collection bro and like I said, I want y'all to um, stay up to date with my business account on my Instagram, on my business Instagram account. I need y'all to stay updated on that one, just so, because, you know, sometimes on YouTube, I might not give y'all, because I did have a promotion code to get you 20% off on all of my tees. But, you know, one or two, like, a couple people actually used it. But, hey, man, y'all missed out on some good shit, bro. Like, them um, plain ones would have ran you about $17. I don't know how much the bleach ones would have came. But, hey, man. Just follow my business account at Sharp Bay Clothing. It'll be somewhere on the video. Remember, follow my, uh, subscribe to my man Trey Silver for fucking with me on the camera. Hey man, gotta put him on. At least get into 100. He has 76 subs. As of right now, he has 76 subs, man. Next time I wanna check that, like when this video drop, and I go back and check his um, YouTube out, I wanna see this man at 100, bro. Y'all helped out my other buddy, buddy uh, Lotta Lane. He got him some subs. Let's go get some subs of um, Trey Silver, bro. Nah, I did a video like this last year, and then my old video is kind of coming back. I'm getting a lot of feedback. Not a lot of feedback, but a lot of come activity on that video. And I said, make me, let me redo this video, man. You know, everybody searching up the um, high school advices. So let me catch the wave before it's out and it's gone. You know what I'm saying? And let me get y'all an updated High school advice, man. Tips from a now seen. I'm a senior, y'all. I've been around. I've seen everything, bro. Now let me pass my experience on to you. So if you're a freshman or sophomore, you know what I'm saying, junior maybe. If you watch, anybody watching my video will know, hey man, high school is not as bad as they say it is, and only you dictate how your high school year is gonna go. Me, I had really, I had a lot of fun in my high school year, and I just hope I want y'all to have fun in y'all years too. Hopefully, these tips will help you have fun, man. Tip number one, man: be yourself. All right. If you go around the year, just trying to be like everybody else bro people are gonna expose you quick and you don't want to get exposed man because those are the one thing like you, you are not gonna be able to come back from doing that once you are fraud about what you who you are and what you say you are bro nobody's gonna respect you after that so make sure you be yourself be around a group of people who accept you for you don't just go out there trying to be the coolest person out there we all did it we all want to be popular on popping, you know what I'm saying? But hey, bro, look, sometimes just being comfortable in your own skin makes you popular by association, bro. So remember, be yourself, take that advice, man. Advice number two, man, it's gotta go to the lunchroom. Look, if you, some um, cafeterias and high schools have booths and others just have straight tables. But look, my high school has booths, and this is what I like to say, bro. Somebody just text me. Look, for the booths, man. Let me start a streak, goddamn. 
Look, man, for the hype for booze, y'all, you have up, like, I say about two, like one and a half to two months to solidify your seat in the lunchroom. If it has not been one month yet, that seat is for anybody to take, bro. Because once you're sitting there for about two months, everybody knows who sits there, and they're going to probably respect it. All right, don't, I can tell you, consoles are times I wear, you know, my leg itching and shit. I can tell you countless of times where I left my booth unattended to come back to an empty booth because people know that I sit there. Not to say I'm the coolest nigga out here and everybody just, you know, don't want to fuck with me because I beat their ass or anything. You know what I'm saying? It's just that, hey, they know I sit there, so they don't want to try it. So about, about a month and a half to two months, bro, just sitting there consistently, not missing a day, bro, that solidifies your seat at the table, man. So if somebody just walk up in there in your seat, you can't be like, hey, this is my seat, and it ain't even been a month yet, bro. You know what I'm saying? So look, stay there for a month, you got your seat, bro. Advice number three, man, look, do your work. I said this last time, I just wanna say this again, bro. Do y'all work. You don't wanna be a senior in a freshman homeroom, bro. Or you don't wanna be a junior and a sophomore, but you wanna be with your class, bro, cause that's how you gonna have the most fun being with the people around you, bro. Also, most schools have minimum days, so if you have all your credits due, you can leave school early, regardless if you have a car or not. So who don't want to go to school early, bro? I mean, what am I talking about? Who don't want to leave school early, bro? Tip number four, man. I want to say this. Find your own wave, meaning find clothes. This is this is more of like the clothes part of the high school, you know, your high school career. Find something that really suits you and run with it. Rock the fuck out of it. I remember my, I had to find my way. My freshman year, I was like, bro, I'm going with sweatpants all the way. Buy nothing but straight sweatpants. I did not like it, bro. Because <laughs> halfway around, I was like, man, I need some jeans. And I could never find jeans that I like. But now, I'm into jeans and sweatpants. More like more of jeans. But yeah, man, find your way and do it. And another thing, this is a sub, sub tip. If you ever find a dope piece in your collection, do not, do not give it away. Don't tell you where you buy it from or how you, where you get it. Don't, do not tell it, bro, because you are going to be number two rocking that, bro. If everybody say, if somebody asks you, hey, man, that's a dope piece, where you get it from, just say thanks. The stove, man. Just say the stove, bro. Keep it pushing, bro. I don't care if you sound arrogant, bro. You're not going to be number two rocking the same thing, man. Tip number five, man. Do not skip. I know when you get in high school or you're in high school right now, you in the, you with a teacher you don't like, you, you just don't want to be in that class. Look, bro. Or maybe you just got a group of friends and they just all in the hallway. You want to say, hey, let me go out of the hallway. Just let me not even go to class today, bro. Look, bro. Don't skip, y'all. Yeah, I skipped before, but look, bro. It don't make you look cool. Nothing, bro. You really look done doing it, bro. Just don't skip, skip, bro. You gonna miss things in the class. And the one thing that sucks being in the um, high school is being in high school and fucking being behind in your class, bro. Because most teachers are not gonna give you assignments like in middle school. When you miss a day, they give you the assignment. Not nah, high school. Nah, bro. If you miss a day and you don't ask for that work, you're basically not gonna get that work. So. Come to class, bro. I mean, if you're not gonna come on time, bro, at least come to class, bro. At least get to work, then leave, you feel me? Just don't skip class, man. And my last high school tip for y'all, bro. Done giving the gems away. Just gotta let y'all know. This love shit, man. A lot of y'all going around high school looking for a little boo, bro. Your first boo should be your grades. Then it should be... You know, the, the um, cute girl from around the way, man. Hey, look, bro. Be focused on your school for this little love shit. Because that shit really won't fuck you up. Especially, like, bro. Just don't focus on this, these girls or these men, these niggas, bro. Just focus on your schoolwork. If you got, if you get, I want to say you got to get all A's, get a boo or anything. But look, bro. Just don't make that your number one priority in school. Because a lot of people got that messed up and got that. Um, more concerned about if they boost straight than if they grade straight. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't care about people. And you all niggas gonna be like, oh shit, I'm gonna tell your girl, yo, you feel your girl, nigga, that you out here saying that you don't care about her, you care about your grades, nigga. But look, bro, having a girlfriend not gonna make you pass class. You either pass a class with a girl, you can pass class without one. Look, bro, just make sure school is your number one focus, number one priority. And trust me, you are gonna get. Like, you'll probably get all your work done and most likely be able to do it what you want to do, bro. 
Just look. Shit, damn, my camera just cut off, but look. Hey, pick up your seat, sharpback.com. It's your boy, we at Rob, man. Um, follow my boy, Trey Silver. Like, comment, subscribe, and we out, man. I'm chasing the guala. The dog, the 50, the 100, now I got the power. I got I'm walking around with the pocket. Rocket, they calling me Rocket Power. I play with the water, I play with the water. They